Welcome back to the channel. See, she starts. Uh, been letting the battery charge. Let me roll this one down some. Wife said the door don't lock up, but I ain't take no chances. Uh, uh letting the battery charge up. Uh, uh gonna be extremely cold start. She ain't been started in weeks, so. Just letting the battery charge. Just pulled the gas in her. She started. She started. Let me unhook these cables. Okay, cable's dead now. I'ma kinda move her around over here. Uh, she been sitting like this. Don't mind the mess in my car. After my car went down, I just do everything in the back seat. Uh, let me go ahead and get my oil and filter too. This the oil that I was talking about in, in this morning's video. This is the only oil that they had. Uh, STP filter. Uh, it's the only one that they had that was a 1040. They tried to give me a mobile one, but it wasn't a 1040. It was like a 520. I told them, nah, I want 1040. I only run 1040s in my cars. I wanted to run 1040 in my wife's car, but Hugs call for a 520. And you know, that ain't an American. That's a Hyundai. I don't want to put nothing in there that don't belong there. Uh in it. And then it messes it up. And then I'll be the one getting yelled at. So yeah, I got us started. Let me turn the heat on. Turn some heat on in this motherfucker. Let it blow cold. So it can warm up. I'ma also keep an eye on the battery today too. Because she going to the shop tomorrow. And I don't know if I had if I'm gonna have to keep my wife's car for just in case. Or like if I can just come out and start her right up tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Drop in the comment below. What should I do? Should I also keep my wife's car today? You know, just to be on the safe side. That way tomorrow when I get ready and take her to the shop, I can just come out and jump her. Or should I just give her her car back and just take my chances with rubber? Okay, I'm finna take this rubber glove off. Because this shit making my hand cold as fuck. Hold on just a minute. Uh, should I keep it? And, uh, should I keep it for just in case? Or should I give it back to her and take my chance? Drop a comment below. Y'all want to hear this V8? Who, of course, who don't want to hear that V8? smoke coming out the pipes. <sighs> Alright, let me go park my wife's car. I just put gas in her car. I don't want to burn all her gas up right here. I'm going to be out the way just a minute, bro. You can come on through. Yeah, now I'm talking about where you can come through on the sidewalk. Uh, 
<sighs> but yeah. Uh, got them started. Oh, damn, the Mexicans came in the pickup truck and left. Uh, okay, what? Damn. Let's just hit our shit. Hey, this Mexican lady right here. Why the fuck is she still playing devs right here? Ain't no fucking snow. And she still wanna fucking play devs. What the fuck is going on? Like, what the hell? Uh, I'm finna lay around running right there for a minute, cause shit, it's cold. Motherfucking like 20 in the low 20s. What the fuck you doing swerving? I don't understand that. These little motherfuckers in these minivans, though, they had be swerving around the speed bump. Like, you still finna go over the speed bump. Nah, no, man, I ain't gonna sit here, cause y'all wanna see the Vic. Y'all say, get the fuck out. Y'all, like, get the fuck out of the, get the fuck out of the Hyundai. Get back to the Vic. Okay, I'm finna get back to the bridge. <sighs> finna get back over here to the bridge. Take this out. Let the hood close and close. I'm gonna clean this car out though. I'm just throwing everything over here that way. And if I can't get in the trunk, it's in the car. Uh -oh. Damn, this shit feels so weird now. Just moving her over a little bit, you know, to uh, keep from having her, you know, still sitting there like she been doing. Well, at least my windshield washer fluid didn't freeze up. Gotta let her run for a minute. Now the tight look like it's pretty cool now. I guess cause it was sitting in the ground. It sat there so long in the ground. As you can see where the ice was on my tire at. Ice was all right there on my tire. Damn, look at that. Big ass tire imprint. Yeah, so get ready and do her up. Probably go over to the tire shop later. You know, let my hands and shit warm up. You know, uh, I mean, man, this car feels so weird now. I feel like I'm on the ground. I literally feel like I'm on the ground. I guess because I got so used to my wife's car that you sitting up high. Sitting up high. And I'm like, you know, I got so used to her car. I think the rain was telling me it was going out during the summertime because it took a minute for it to bag up. I get some more gas too. But uh like, comment, subscribe. Got us started. I'm gonna keep an eye on her throughout the day. Come over here and try to start her. And that's gonna determine. I might keep my wife car anyway. But drop a comment and let me know what should I do. Should I keep her car overnight again? 
or should I just get back to it and take my chances? Uh, drop a comment below, like, comment, and always subscribe, and catch y'all in the next video.